I'm Emil. I work on the uh, Polka Scan project, and basically, we're trying to make a uh, multi chain block explorer for the Polkadot ecosystem. Polkadot will bring us a new uh, ecosystem, just like we got Ethereum at some point, just like we got Bitcoin, and we have all these new blockchains uh, with that. And we simply don't have the uh, block explorer technology at this point. And we aim to bring that block explorer technology to this new ecosystem. Make uh, blockchain data accessible and understandable. So lots of data is being stored on blockchains more and more. You find all these use cases of what people are trying to put on blockchains. Uh, and I guess well, what a simple blockchain node offers is very limited. Uh, you are limited. Uh, you cannot search uh, uh, for the stuff you need uh, oftentimes and uh, block explorers, you know, they can help you answer the questions you need answered. The launch of the mainnet, but, you know, researching these test nets by themselves, uh, you know, they, they help you understand what Polkadot is about. And I'm really excited about the technology, but Building block explorers has always been my personal way to really understand what the technology is about. So, and I've come to appreciate how Substrate and Polkadot is being built. And we're nearing proof of concept four of uh, uh, Polkadot, and that really goes into interoperabilities and interoperability and how these individual chains, uh, how they interoperate, communicate with each other. Um, and I like the analogy of, uh, you know, Polkadot bringing, the Polkadot universe bringing a sort of economy and each and every blockchain which is fit for purpose will serve a particular goal within that economy. And I'm really curious uh, how all these different niches uh, will be filled with specific functionality of each and individual uh, chain of such a Polkadot universe. What I find interesting is that Polkadot will launch its relay chain and that will bring a Polkadot universe into existence with, you know, uh, say 20, 50, 100 chains. Uh, but many other Polkadot universes will come into existence as well, uh, uh, such as uh, Energy Web Foundation's implementation of their own independent Polkadot universe. At some point, perhaps, one will be nested within the other universe, uh, but I think for, for some time these will coexist as well and nothing hinders more of these universes uh, pop up. Uh, so we're going to see many chains, many multi-chains or many of these Polkadot universes and I'm really excited to, you know, just research and getting into all the, the data uh, to, to research what these uh, chains are about. Our main audience at this point is the class of substrate implementers. All these uh, companies, organizations, individuals that are building uh, substrate chains. Um, I said we finished our uh, research, uh, so um, we kind of know how to get the runtime, interpret the runtime, and use that to you know, make a block explorer work for all the uh, special features that differentiates one chain from another. So, one generalized blockchain, a block explorer stack, uh, which results in a functioning block explorer for each and every chain with different functionalities. Uh, um, we are really eager on getting in touch with these early implementers uh, uh, to make sure that, you know, the stack is as general as possible so uh, that we can ensure compatibility. Uh, so what we're trying to focus on now is uh, look at the test nets that are available. Um, um, there's this site, uh, lemetry.polkadot.io, and it shows you uh, uh, all the various test nets that are in existence, uh, the public test nets. Uh, so we're in close contact with uh, most of these uh, uh, folks. 